having some kind of gradient in your astro images is all too common. Luckily, this is relatively easy to solve. If we go up here to image processing, we have background extraction. This tool will try to compute a mathematical model of your background and then try to even it out and remove it so you get a much more even color in your background without touching your foreground. Use the RBF interpolation method unless you get really, really terrible results. Then you can try to go and play with the older interpolation method, but let's go with RBF. In order for it to compute the background, it needs to know what is background and what is not. We need to tell it that. And we do that by placing a number of grid points. So you can simply click in the image and you can see it sets a little square. Your job is to put down these squares and it's important that those have background and only background. That means this is a good square, this is a bad square because there's a star in it. Now it thinks that star is part of the background and that's gonna mess it up. I left click to put them down. If I right click, it removes the one closest to my cursor. You don't have to sit and place all these manual. There is a sample per line slider. We can slide up and down. And if you click generate, it will try to basically generate a grid. And you have this tolerance slider here. It tries to detect on its own what is nebulosity and what is background. But it doesn't mean it's done a good job. We can already see here that there are some of these squares that are not very good. 